Hi folks, in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to create model based on the surface modeling and I will reuse your source picture. I will not focus on the dimensions, I'd like to approximate the shape and you will see that it is possible to create like this. So let's start from scratch, so it will be new model, base it on the surface and we will create new sketch. The sketch will be created directly from the top view and I will define the half of the, this view. It's not necessary to specify the whole shape because you can really easy use the mirror feature after. So let's continue with some shape and some lines. Yeah, so if you miss the tangency you can specify the tangent point here and everything is set. Set your custom dimensions, confirm OK and we will continue and we will create the shape here. I'd like to create now this yellow curve. So at the end we will create the bottom shape. If we will cr create a second sketch, over here in this second sketch I will use the reference and the reference will be this endpoint. Why? Because over here we would like to create the first arc it's a definition of the shape, for example, like this. And then we would like to continue with the shape, for example, like this. OK, again, set your custom dimensions and confirm OK. Now, these two curves, which are created, you can select them both sketch and use intersect. The system will create 3D curve based on these two sketches and the bottom shape is ready. I will continue from the top sketched, so we will continue and we will create the shape based on the this dark blue curve. Yeah. So simple, again we can reuse some arc definitions, for example like this, and then Maybe it will be better to like this. If you need to extend the curve, you can select the control button and end point and the system will extend the curve straight line or arc. Because I'd like to go here, yeah. And again, continue like here, for example. Doesn't matter. And straight line and tangency at the end. OK, great. You can play with the shape and change dimensions as needed, so it's up to you. Fine, I will confirm OK. And we will create a top line. So if you will select here, you see that over here is the arc only. So we will create another sketch and only arc. This arc can be much bigger as the original shape. Yeah, you see here that starting point is here and ending somewhere here, so you can do it much bigger. And if you will come from OK, and again you will use the intersection between sketch 3 and 4, the system will create top curve. Now we will go back here, and what we need to do is create a green line. So we will arc and we will use the sweep feature around. Best practice is create a sweep feature and you can select two sketches, define as the surface and in the sketch you are able to connect the start points with a simple arc. Yeah? The shape for example and if I will come from OK the system create for me the necessary shape. If it will be not working for you, maybe you need to jump into reference and select that the normal trajectory will be not the first one but the second one. Yes, yeah, so let's try to jump here and the system will create it properly. Come from OK. So half of the surface is created and what we would like to do is create the hole. You can see here that bottom hole is again defined like this curve here. So Again, we can create a sketch. Over here we will create an arc, for example, shape like this. 
and over here will be bottom surface of the hole. So if you would like to extend again, select the end button and control and extend and the system will extend it as you need. Perfect. From this curve you can use the extrude feature and define the surface. Yeah, It can be much bigger as the original one again. It's an independent surface. Yes, of course, you can. You don't need to create Sketch 5, you can directly use the extrude feature as the surface modeling, but it's up to you. It's combination. Now we would like to continue and we would like to create standard extrude feature because at the end we will make the intersection. So for now I will create ellipse, for example, from this point at the end of this point and the shape like this. Yeah, or it's a ellipse here. But what I'd like to show you, if you will use the extrude feature only as the square, for example, we can use the square only. And then I'd like to use the automatic rounding over here. Yeah, so let's see, I, I'd like to show you. So we will use the different shape. The system will automatically transform to the surface model. And again, it's really good and looks really nice. Fine. So for now, we have a couple of surfaces here. And what we would like to do is that we will close and create a merge feature. So if you will select the quilts, so you will have to change the geometry to quilt and then you will select two quilts. You are able to use the merge feature and the system asks you which side you would like to leave. So I'd like to leave the top one and the bottom surface or simple, you can confirm and a hole is created. Yeah, the half hole. Now it's time that I'd like to show you how to use the round feature only quickly that if you would like to use the edge, you can select right mouse button and system will use the intent edges. So the system will automatically round edges, which has been created by extrude feature. Okay, so it works here. So let's try, it will be works after the another merge feature. Okay, so let's continue. What we need to do, we need to create the bottom surface and top surface that and Best practice is if you will use the sketch 2 and again I will transform this sketch 2 to the extrude the opposite direction. It has to be much bigger as the intersected component so cannot be smaller one has to be the bigger one. Yeah, perfect. Again quilts are selected. You can select two quilts and use the merge feature. The system will show you what will be. Leave it. You can confirm. Perfect. And also we would like to create the top surface, select the sketch 4 and extrude opposite direction and confirm. Yep, everything is defined. Again, simple and easy. Use the merge feature and confirm with middle button. And last but not least, we need to create the, the merge feature between these two objects. And if you will select now, have a look what the system will leave. I think that looks good. Yeah, so I can confirm this is only for the preview. If it is not suitable, you can play with the arrows and the system will show you what the system will leave. Yeah, so it's up to you how you will specify it and confirm OK. Now, if I will create the round feature over here on this edge, right mouse button and left, the system will allow to me to create the round and also I am able to create the bottom round. Yeah, it's up to you which and how many rounds you would like to apply or maybe on the top also. So do you will specify your final shape. Now it's still surface model. So what is necessary to do at the end you have to specify that whole 3D model will be mirrored on the sur datum surface. And if you will confirm, now you have two separate quilts and best practices, if you will use the merge feature, you don't want to intersect, you would like to join. So select right mouse button and join and confirm. If the merge feature is created, now the whole model 
is still surface, you can use the solidify feature, confirm, and now your model is based on us, the 3D solid model. So if you will use the section simple for the checking, you see that my model is based on the solid because shape is filled. If you will switch on the hatching, you can see it. Okay, so over here you have seen how to create the 3D model based on the surfaces and curves and then transformation to solid model. I hope so that you like this video tutorial. So stay tuned and bye bye. Vladimir.